Navy Corpsman Petty Officer First Class Raymond Holscher was uh, KFY and Sanderson Ford's first recipient of the My Military Hero Award. With three tours of duty in the Special Forces Marine Recon Unit in Iraq and Afghanistan, Petty Officer Holscher demonstrated amazing bravery and a strong love for his country. Chris Sedlock, uh, a young man who wanted to serve his country so bad that instead of waiting a year to go into the Navy to follow in the footsteps of his family, he chose to go into the Army that would take him immediately. About four years ago, we're asking ourselves, how can we do a program at KFYI which recognizes the heroic deeds that our men and women who wear the uniform perform day in and day out? It was something we felt so terribly compelled to do, and, and we needed to find someone to hop in with us. Our thoughts immediately ran to Sanderson Ford, because when it comes to supporting the military, Sanderson's right there at the front of the line every time. I mean, you get pretty choked up that these guys are out there fighting for us. You know young kids out there fighting for our country, and that the stories were, were amazing. We were approached by our sister company, Clear Channel Radio, to see if we would be able to participate with uh, providing one of our digital boards to help recognize and honor these super individuals who have been chosen as the military hero for the month. We tell their story on the radio, we put up the billboard, and we invite them to a celebration like this, where today we gave away a 2011 Mustang. I was, I was on the air when the, when the car was won, and it was uh, uh, Donald Ross. His daughter, Olivia, was the one who started the car. And it was, all, it was picture perfect. Here is this, this beautiful young blonde haired girl. She starts the car and the look on her face was just shock. But also, the air conditioning turned on and her hair started to blow. It was perfect. It was absolutely perfect to see the look on her face. It was a real special day and uh, we're gonna do this again and again. Every month we're going to recognize one of our military heroes because that's our purpose. We are very, very excited to know that Sanderson Ford and KFYI have agreed to uh, continue the program for another year. And Clear Channel Outdoor is absolutely going to support the program for the upcoming year as well. One of the great things about what I get to do is meet people. And our audience are largely patriotic and we love our country and the people that serve it. So this program gives us an opportunity to thank people. We can never thank the people that serve this country enough. But it doesn't mean we shouldn't try. We, we support our military. I don't know how else to say, to say it. We're very grateful for the freedoms that we have. He's pretty excited. He wants to know what the interior looks like, and he wants me to pop the front of the car and see what's under the hood. I think he really wishes he was here right now. It still surprises me because um, whenever we recognize these families, they're almost embarrassed to be singled out. They do such great things and they're so humble. Uh, one of the young men that was here, uh, Josh Bullis, both of his parents are police officers and they serve their community while their son is serving the military. And when we recognize them, they're almost embarrassed to be singled out. On September 19th, his parents received a phone call that Josh had stepped on an IED and was now a triple amputee. He's now in rehab at the Balboa Naval Medical Center in San Diego, California. Josh does not think of himself as a hero. He will tell you he knew that this was a possibility when he joined the Army and that he was just doing his job. The one thing we know about freedom is that it is not free, comes at a very serious price and cost, and we, we are all so grateful for the sacrifices that our military uh, make for us every day. <laughs>